Today, I'm gonna show you why I use a combination of wacky lines on my golf balls. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. This is my title list, and you can see here, I've got some crazy lines on this little bad boy, and I wanna explain why I do this. Now, in short, the reason I have these lines on my golf ball is to make me a better golfer, help my score. I need all the help I can get, but this might help you because it has definitely changed the game for me. Now, the first thing that I do is I have my little check and go here. This is a golf ball spinner, so you put your golf ball on here, and then you spin it around, and you put your marker right in there, when it finds that balance point, and then you draw that equator line on there, and that will give you the middle most balance point of the golf ball, indicated by this red line here. So that goes all the way around. I have marked that with a Sharpie in the check go. And what this allows the ball to do is roll in its most balanced plane if you are putting it, as well as driving it, right? So that you don't have a heavy side maybe pulling it one way or the other. Even on a ball that's as high quality and as consistently manufactured as this, all right? So that's the first thing. I use this red line exclusively when I'm lining up the putts just to make sure that one, I am on the line that I think I am, but also to make sure that that ball is balanced. Now, if I rotate this ball around here, what you might be able to see is that there is a big blue line. And this blue line intersects with the red line at a perfect perpendicular 90 degree angle. And what I do here is I use one of these stencils, I clamp it on and line up the red line on one of the crosshairs. And then I take my blue Sharpie and I draw a blue line across it. And the reason I do that is because obviously if I want this red line to go right down my target line here because it's going to keep the ball most balanced the issue here is that when you do that when you set this up so that it's vertical and you are driving the golf ball well you are off to the side of it and it's not actually really helpful to have that red line there you can't really use that to line up your shot so what this allows me to do is to line up the golf ball in the way that i want right down the center of the fairway or in any direction that I want, and then to rotate this blue line up so that it is perfectly perpendicular to my target. Now this way, when I actually set up to my golf ball, put my driver behind it, I can actually just square my driver to the blue line. And because it goes all the way around the top hemisphere of the golf ball, it doesn't matter what angle, how tall or short I am, I have a consistently straight line that I am looking at and I can just square the club head up to that and know that if I have a parallel head to the blue line here, I know that I am going to smash this ball straight down the fairway. So I have made these two changes here with the check and go, finding that middle line here, that balance point of the golf ball, which I use for putts, and then I use that to line up the drive, but I use the blue perpendicular line to line me up to the ball when I'm teeing off. So hopefully that helps you. If you wanna pick up the check and go, the stencil, Sharpie markers, I'll put links to everything that I use in the description below Peter Von Panda out if you want to know about a brand ask me I'll check if what's in the bags nasty better if you know what's up than the unhappy I know what it feels like when you're done cashing they tried their meal or drive their vehicle garbage delivered at your PO I know you feel you the one to scream your head hurts on your pillow discover more yeah yeah explore deeper yeah yeah live better